Hello friends, as you know, tomorrow is an important day for our nation and for all who are called by God's name. As we approach this election, I want to remind you of something powerful. God is in control. We each have a part to play, and that includes participating in this election. Your vote matters, but no matter the results, remember that God has a plan that surpasses human understanding. In Isaiah 46, 10, the Lord says, I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say, my purpose will stand, and I will do all that I please. As believers, it's important that we go to the polls tomorrow with hearts anchored in faith, not fear. We may feel the tension, the uncertainty, and the pressures of this season, but know this. Our confidence is not in earthly leaders, but in the one who reigns above all, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. His purpose will stand, regardless of the political landscape. The Word of God reminds us in Philippians 4, 6, and 7, and to be anxious for nothing, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As you go to vote tomorrow, carry this peace with you. Let your voice be heard, and let your faith in God remain steadfast. This is not a time to be divided or fearful, but a time to unite and pray. As you vote, let's commit to intercede for our leaders, for those in authority, and for the future of our nation. And when the results come, no matter what we see, remember that God is moving and His plans are unfolding. Let us go forward with hope, knowing that in every season the Lord is our guide, our shield, and our protector. Whatever comes, He is with us. Tomorrow, let's do our part with faith and trust in God's sovereign hand. Let us go forward with hope, knowing that in every season, the Lord is our guide, our shield, and our protector. Whatever comes, He is with us. Tomorrow, let's do our part with faith and trust in God's sovereign hand.